This is our introductory video on circular motion and this is a quick video to talk about angular displacement and the radian. So when you look at this diagram, when an object moves from A to B, it is going to move through an angle about the center of a circle. And that angle which it, is, it moves from, the angle subtended, is called theta, uh, as we would like to call it in, uh, in circular motion. And this is known as the angular displacement. So it's the angular displacement of B from A about the origin. Okay, And to, uh, for calculations, we tend to use radians as a unit of this this measure. So that's basically what angular displacement is. It's uh, it's basically a position about the center of a circle. And angular displacement is formulated to be equal to arc length divided by the radius. So it's literally s over r. More commonly, we know uh, we we see this equation as the angular displacement or arc length. Sorry, uh, no, I'm not, sorry. The arc length is equal to the angular displacement multiplied by the radius. And that brings us to a very important concept called the radian. What is a radian if we're going to use it as a measure? So a radian is the angular displacement where the arc length is equal to the radius. And what, how do we find this angle? It's, it's pretty basic. Now we look at uh, what is the radian. And this is how you calculate it. Now let's look at how we can calculate what a radian is. It's very straightforward in that theta would be 360 degrees if we were to take the arc length as the entire circle, obviously. The whole circle would result in an angular displacement of the angle about a fixed point, which is a circle, uh, which is 360 degrees. And that we know that theta is equal to arc length divided by radius. And we know that in this case, arc length is equal to the circumference, and the circumference is 2 pi r. And therefore, theta is equal to 2 pi, if we were to do the simple division. And since theta, we said, would be in radians would be equivalent to, two, uh, equivalent to 360 degrees, and it is equal to 2 pi in radians. We can calculate what ra one radian is in that we take 360 degrees divided by 2 pi radians, and that should give us a value of the radian of 57.3 degrees.